All right guys, today is going to be an exciting day because I have been waiting to receive this bike for a hot minute when we got the F2. Now this is the F3 Pro. We got the dual motor setup going on. Nice seat right here, two batteries. This thing is definitely heavy, it is 90 nine pounds and I'm not that strong of a person so don't really expect to be carrying this thing everywhere you go but if you definitely want a fast bike and you want the range highly recommend this one for the price at $2,700 the price might change depending on when I make this video so just keep that in mind but I can save you some money by using the links down in the description with the discount code so go check those out if you guys are interested in this bike other than that let's go through it let's check it out and then get on a test ride and see how it is real quick this is how I look sitting on the bike I'm 5'9 to 5'10, just to give you an estimate of uh, your height on how you might sit on it. So there you go for that. So you have a rear hub motor right here, which was a thousand watts total. You're gonna also notice that we do not have any gear shifter back here, so this is a single speed. You do have a fender in the back, decently sized chain ring, 20 amp hour battery right here, which is also connected to this 20 amp hour battery as well. So you're getting 40 amp hours in total. They also have another bike, same as this, with a bigger battery setup that would get you more range. So right now with this dual battery setup, you're gonna get 75 miles of range max in the lowest setting. But if you wanna get the fastest top speed out of this at all times, you're looking at probably 40 miles of range, which seems about right. You normally get about a mile per amp hour on these bikes. You also got fenders up front a headlight from Frigo these are the same as the F2 you got a motor up front and you got this cable coming out the side right here it's a little messy I will say the cable management is not that great on this bike but that's not really gonna take away from the feel and the ride of it, but just something to keep in mind. You do have DY Island brakes right here. I like the fact that you have these adjustments right here. So depending on when you squeeze these, if you want them to come closer or feel a little tighter, you can adjust that. You do have a bell on this bike. It's decently loud. I would have liked to seen a horn, but it is what it is. Uh, you have some cheap grips on this side and they are not locking, but I will say that they are stuck on there pretty damn good. They are not coming off whatsoever. They just don't feel very good in the hand so I would definitely say wear gloves on this bike and well technically you should wear gloves anyways on any of these bikes then you got your plus and minus buttons right here you hold the power button right down here this display turns on it is a very dim display looking at it in person so during sun time like when the sun's shining directly on it you're not gonna be able to see this display very well but at night it's gonna look very very nice uh, coming down here you have preload adjustment on this side compression on this side over here BMX style handlebars, you got your dual motor uh, set up right here. So if you wanna have a single motor in the rear or if you wanna have the front one going as well, you can do that. There is no way to just turn the front motor on. So that's not like other bikes where you have a switch where you can go to the front motor only or the rear motor only or do dual motors. You can't do it on this one. The back one always is gonna work 24 seven and then you push this in to get the front one working. So just keep that in mind. And then you have a half twist throttle on this side, which I'm not gonna pull because it's gonna run into all my bikes over there. One thing I really like about this bike and the company is that it comes with two batteries and they send you two chargers. Now they aren't fast chargers, they're two amp chargers. That is gonna prolong the battery life, but it's not gonna charge it as fast. So you're gonna be sitting waiting for them to charge, but I like the fact that they give you two because then you don't have to wake up in the middle of the night to be like, oh, I gotta take it off of that battery to put it on that one. So that's good for Frigo for including two chargers. Looking down at these brakes, they look like they're 180 millimeter rotors and you got some um, standard typical pedals and standard cranks right here down over here you do have a motor disconnect if you see that right on the other side it's definitely gonna make it easy to replace your flats as well there is no quick release on the front but that's accepted because you do have a motor up here and you do have to put this front wheel and motor on so I'm a little worried on people that don't know what they're doing so if you're not very mechanically inclined and you don't know really how to put this stuff together and you're worried about it coming off while riding because you're gonna be doing like 35 plus miles an hour on this bike definitely seek a professional shop to install this front wheel I wish it would have came installed on arrival in the box that would have been super nice but you do have to install it and you also have to put the rotor on that's on the other side on the wheel as well let's get on the way let's put the GoPro on let's go see how fast this thing goes because I'm excited to ride this thing you guys already have seen many reviews on it I just want to get on it right I haven't even put a mile on it yet so let's get out there and go all right here we go with our test oh crap Oh, I'm trying to take it easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, that's how we're gonna start off the ride. Interesting. <laughs> Dual motor bikes, man, they just pick up. 
All right, so let's do a top speed run right now. <laughs> let's see how fast this thing goes. I put my phone up here so you guys can see because I know the display is not gonna show accurately. The display says we're doing 41, and on my phone it says we're doing 38 miles an hour with a full battery charge on both batteries. We are moving, this is fast. Like I said, you should be wearing gloves right now, but I wanted to get a feel of the actual bike with having no gloves in place that softens up my hands and stuff like that. I just want to feel how the bike feels if you didn't have gloves. But I highly recommend you putting gloves on. So one thing I'm noticing on this bike as I'm riding it for the very first time ever, you guys are getting my very first impression. I did not even take it up and down the street to test it out first. I just made sure it turned on and worked inside the house. It's very heavy in the front. Very, very heavy that it feels like you need to make sure your weight balance is good on it because any type of pothole or leaning this way or that way, you definitely feel it. You're definitely struggling to keep the bike straight up and down. I'm gonna just jump in the street because this bike is so fast. Man, I have to keep letting off. This bike is quick, man. This thing is moving. Now you could definitely ride this thing in the street and be perfectly fine. I still need to test this thing out in the single mode to see how it is just using one motor. Now I mentioned that you can't use the front motor only. That's a little disappointing, but I will say it's never good to just use the front motor on a dual motor setup on an e-bike. It's never good whatsoever. So just keep that in mind that they kind of made the right choice by just allowing you to use the rear motor at all times and then switch on the front motor when needed. All right, so we're in our designated spot where we do our speed runs. And since we have no gears, we don't have any shifter over here, no gears in the back, no nothing. We're going to do this test with one motor only. Then when we get to the other section, I'm going to do dual motor. And we're just going to see the difference on how fast it picks up. And the fact that you guys can see my mile per hour, I'm not going to have to really point that out. I can just kind of tell you how it feels. And I'll pedal as well to see when it starts feeling like it's ghost pedaling, which is probably going to be pretty low. So here you go. One, two, three. Oh, nice and gradual, I will say. All right, around 13 miles an hour, you're ghost pedaling. Wow, that's very low. So this is not a bike to use to pedal around. Definitely not. So if you're looking for a bike that you actually want to pedal and get a workout in, this ain't the bike for you. If you just want to go fast in a straight line, get from point A to point B very quickly, uh, this would be the bike for you. Let me hit this button. This, I, I'm going to call this the boost button. All right, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> man even with all that weight in the front <laughs> still pills out and there you go like that 30 miles an hour dang so quick so quick dang now keep in mind if you do own this bike the speedo is off about four miles per hour so something just to keep in mind all right, let's go this way. Everyone's in the bike lane. Excuse me, excuse me. Go out the way. Oh God, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be sketchy as hell. <laughs> Make sure we don't die on the free go F3, guys. It'll be the end of a Mr. Central driver. All right, we made it out of that. Now let's check out this bike out in the nice, beautiful sun. Here it is, out in the sun. It's a nice flat green color. They don't have this in any other color than green, so it depends if you're going to like this or not. They're going for like a green and an orange look to it. The reflectors actually match the logo and everything like that. I'm not a big fan of the green, but I will say I am a fan of how fast this bike is. I'm not having any complaints about it yet. The seat doesn't feel that comfortable. If I were to have a weight and put a weight on this seat and put it on another bike that I have in my garage, you would definitely be able to see the difference on how firm this is. It's like a firm mattress right here. This is not soft. But I actually didn't feel that bad riding it because the shocks on this bike are actually pretty soft. I don't really think they're going to be made for off-roading, which we're going to do in a second take it over here. It definitely feels very good on the street. I'm not having any complaints. I have noticed the rear shock have a little bit of noise, but that's pretty much like about it. But anyway, let's take it up this hill real quick and see how well it does even though we already know we got the power baby so let's try this with just one motor at the very bottom of the hill and let's see how it does so here we go one two three one motor just the rear well it's struggling it made it though it made barely it barely made it 
So it still got up it compared to some other e-bikes that never actually make it up that. And that was only one motor. So now let's try that with two motors at the very bottom of this hill. Here we go. Boost button activated. One, two, three. <laughs> Woo! Oh my. Oh, <laughs> I was coming out of my seat because the wheel was hitting the ground, spinning, and then lifting up. It had so much power. Look at all that dust we just made. <laughs> Oh man, you definitely have to be careful. Like I said, the weight balance on this bike, it depends on where the tires go and you gotta counterbalance it. It's not like other e-bikes that feel a little bit more nimble in the front. This definitely has so much weight. All right, so let me get on straight away. Let's hit it, let's see how it is. Whoa, man, this thing is definitely, definitely sliding all over the place. Woo, oh, big dip, I came out of my seat. Oh. This definitely feels like one of the sketchier bikes to take off road. But this bike is definitely made to go up hills, be in the sand, the dirt. I don't really think it's made to really go off roading on like big bumps and trails, but definitely made to uh, power through a lot of stuff. And it's doing that really good right now. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> you gotta get used to that. All right, this is a little bit smoother on this side and it's jamming. I'm doing 34 miles an hour. I'm gonna slow down and let off because we're just going way, way too fast. And I think that guy that we just passed on the left-hand side owns this place, so let's get out of here. Thank God we're on a fast e-bike, we can take off. Man, I am definitely being a daredevil right now. <laughs> Woo! I think we hit like 35 or something. I don't know, you guys tell me. I was trying to pay attention to the dips and the bumps and stuff. Now off-roading, it's not the best. Honestly, like the suspension is soft, but it's throwing me out of my seat. That's something I don't like. And I can feel the rear bottoming out ever so slightly. So if you're probably over 200 pounds, it's definitely gonna bottom out a little bit worse than what it is right now. But it's not too bad. I would definitely take this bike on the street and leave it on the street. And if you have to take stuff like this, just go a little slower, be a little bit more careful. But don't expect this bike to be the best performing e-bike in the dirt it's just not oh turning is weird on this bike definitely weird when you have to take a sharp turn it's gonna get into the turning test right now oh yeah not the best bike to turn now it's better than a 26 inch by 4 inch tire e-bike those ones that sit very tall off the ground so it is a little better than that but man a lot of weight in the front i'm telling you guys it is definitely a heavy bike up front. Let's do our uh, braking test. I'm gonna probably keep it at 30 or the best I can keep it at 30 because this bike goes so fast. I wanna try to keep these tests normal. All right, so 30, 29. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> oh man, wow, it stopped pretty good. So the really, really good bikes will stop before that little white line right there. If you guys can see that's a little arrow, it's kind of fading away. And then the intermediate bikes stop like right behind that line. So this is pretty much on the good side, especially for 30 miles an hour right now, or 29 roughly. That wasn't bad. This thing stopped pretty good. And I noticed that my brakes are a little bit too far out. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of loosen these things up so they come a little closer to me because my hands are like flexing like way, way out here and it's kind of hurting my hands. So I want the lever to be a little closer. And the fact that you have these little adjustments to do that that feels better already. Just make sure you don't loosen them too much. You don't want to lose these uh, little screws. <laughs> yeah, baby, let's go. How does Tell Happy TV do that? He lifts his bike up so easy. Oh, almost got it. Hey, there we go. I'm gonna Tell Happy TV right now. Woo, let's go, baby. <laughs> First time I've ever been able to do that on a bike and this thing's so heavy. <laughs> Woo! Definitely making marks everywhere I go. You might want to order a uh, front tire for this thing right off the bat or look for a street tire if you're going to be riding on the street a lot because these knobbies are definitely going to wear down in the front a lot, <laughs> especially if you do stuff like that. So you can get rid of it spinning in the front if you just lean over it ever so slightly. So sit a little closer to the gas tank. See, there you go. That will help. But the more you sit back on this bike and have your weight towards the rear, that's when it's really gonna pill out. Now it's cool to show people doing that, but you're definitely not gonna wanna do that every time. Or you can just hit this uh, dual motor setup button or whatever. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna call this the boost button. 
you can just turn the boost button off and uh, get rid of the front power and then you'll never have to worry about that tire spinning. Now this definitely feels like chill mode on a Tesla when you uh, just use the rear motor. Feels nice and gradual. I am in pedal assist five and it's climbing gradually up there. 25 miles an hour, 26. I feel like it still wants to move. Let's go off the curb really quick, see how that is. Oh, you know what? Actually, that wasn't bad. It's a little hard to lift up the bike. You gotta have some power, but hey, you know, it's made me crash. I'm noticing that the front keeps moving up and down. I think something on the front needs to be tightened. I think I lost a, uh, a little thing during shipment. It got damaged, but not the company's fault. It's not like they sent it to me like that, but FedEx would be messing up my packages half the time. This was all scratched as well, too. And it looks like this is a logo, so if you want to take this off, you can. This is a sticker. So you want to put your own brand on this top tank battery. That's pretty cool. I like the fact that they do that. And this is a sticker as well. So you could debrand this bike and uh, not have any of this stuff on here. This one looks like it's stuck on there, though. But the battery ones are just stickers. That's cool. All right, so the next thing I like to do is see how responsive the throttle is. And I want to do that starting right now. But let's get a little running start because we're just going to be pulling out all the time. So here we go. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> Quick and fast. All right, one, two, three. Oh yeah, like a quarter second delay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh yeah, that thing's quick. Now I have not even moved the pedals yet, so let's see how the pedals are without using the throttle. So I'll make sure. Oh, okay, it had a very huge delay. It felt like a two second delay. A very gradual start as well, which is weird. It's different than using the throttle. So you see that and then watch, let me pedal. Whoa, that's weird. That's actually pretty legit. Now the power's really picking up. How did they do that? Seriously, how did they do that where the throttle just gives you instant power instantaneously, like after a quarter of a second, and it gives you all the power at once, but then the pedals gradually go into the power. That feels so safe. Whatever they did, that's a good job on them because you never want to move these pedals accidentally and the bike just full power just take off, especially I was in pedal assist five and you might not be able to see this display, but that's cool. I like that. I like that. That's cool. All right, now I got to wait for this car turning. Let's go, let's go. Let's go back in the dirt, baby. I'm definitely getting used to the bike and all the weight up front, but it's definitely going to feel weird to you. If you've never been on an e-bike, then you might not notice it. But if you've been on a lot of e-bikes, especially ones that never had a front motor, it's definitely going to feel very weird to you right off the bat. You're going to feel like, ah, do I like this or not? But I've gotten so used to it right now after probably going like, is it 5.3 miles, which is a short amount of time. Uh, not too bad. Woo. Whoa, 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 easy. <laughs> Man, you're definitely gonna have to be careful if you're going over like like soft debris, like sand, rocks, whatever. You definitely don't want to slip out in the front. Let's jump off the curb right here. Woo, nice and smooth. I didn't feel the bottom uh, bottom out at all, or the back, I should say. That rear shock did not bottom out. And now we're just hauling ass. Dang, this bike is quick. Now, some things you guys should think about if you are gonna pick up a bike like this is the fact that it is very heavy. We said that many times. But keep in mind, it's going to probably be too heavy for your bike rack, depending on what type of rack you have. Some racks are only like 60 or 80 pounds maximum. Sometimes they're even lower than that, just depending on the size car. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Also, if you live upstairs, it might be a little difficult for you to uh, bring it up and down. So another thing to think about, I definitely would not be carrying this bike anywhere I go. I would definitely be using it under uh, throttle only. <laughs> Speaking of that, let's turn everything off. I will turn off the bike even though I know the display is not showing up. And let me just pedal. So because you have no gears on this, it's definitely going to make it harder to pedal than 9 or 10 miles an hour. I'm putting some decent like pedal force into it. There is no way I would be able to do this for longer than probably two miles without feeling so exhausted. So just keep that in mind. If you do lose all your power on this bike, you might want to try to hit up your butt if you're very far from the house. There's no way you're just going to want to pedal this thing the whole time. Unless you're Iron Man, I don't know. But <laughs> Hey, we're getting some love from the motorcycle guys. <laughs> on our Frigo, I bet you it's this gas tank. The battery pack looks like a gas tank. He's probably like, oh, there's my motorcycle friend right there. 
Dang. This bike hauls ass. If you're a speed demon, oh man. I don't know what else to say. Bye bye bus. Bye bye bus. Oh no, the bus is catching up. Oh God, let's go, let's go. Come on, I thought I had a nine second bike here. A quarter mile, baby, let's go, let's go. There's a bunch of kids on the bus. <laughs> they're all waving. I better pay attention to the road because then they're going to be laughing when I eat shit. <laughs> oh man, we are definitely going really fast. Like, probably too fast than we should. We should be slowing down. Everyone's staring at us because we're just moving so damn quickly. Oh man. This is such a fast bike. I love it. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. All right, now I'm sandwiched in between two buses. Come on, man. I want to go around. See, we got this bus, and then we got this bus. <laughs> Come on, let's go. All right, let's go. Bye-bye, bus. Another one bites the dust. Oh, man, I, I like this thing. I really like it. I think the only con to me is just how heavy it is. It is a steel frame as well, which doesn't help. But, uh... Man, I haven't seen a battery bar go down yet in seven miles. And honestly, I wouldn't expect it to because we have 40 amp hours of battery in here with 2000 watt hub motors. It's, man, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with this bike. Now the build quality doesn't feel like top notch where it's like perfect. Like they watch every little corner and everything's like dialed in. It feels like on the medium side, it doesn't feel super cheap but it doesn't feel like a very high-end quality build. If that makes sense. It could definitely be a little better. <laughs> That's my sister. I'm gonna have to do a second video on this bike, maybe even three videos, I don't know. I actually kind of dig riding this one because it goes so damn fast. So I think that might be something we might have to do. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna be doing a second video on this thing, taking it to work at nighttime. We gotta check out these uh, headlights and the tail light and see how that is in a separate video. So subscribe if you guys want to see that. But real quick, let's go back to the house. I'll give you my final thoughts on how I feel about it and if this bike is worth it. But uh, I'm going to tell you right now, you can't go wrong with the power and the price of this. Is it expensive? Yes, it's definitely expensive. But you're getting a lot. Brake test? <laughs> All right, don't mind me and my messy hair with my uh, helmet that I had on. <laughs> oh man, I had a blast. I absolutely knew I was gonna have fun on this bike when I told them I wanted to review this after Shreddy got it a couple months ago. And I am not disappointed. Now, there are some shortcomings, like I said, and we we're just talking about it. The build quality doesn't feel up to task on some of these other e-bikes that I have gotten in the past. But at the same time, sometimes you're paying $2,000 for those bikes and they only go 20 miles an hour, maybe 28 miles an hour. They do not have the setup that this has and they probably only have half the battery capacity that this one has. So $2,700 right now on their website. I can help you guys save some money as well if you use my links down in the description with the coupon code as well. It's probably gonna be Mr. Central Driver. The fact that you get a 20 amp hour battery up here, 20 amp hour battery right here, and if you wanna spend a little bit more, I think it goes into the $3,000 range, you can get more range out of this bike as well because they put bigger battery packs on there and they say an estimate of 109 miles and probably the lowest pedal assist in like eco mode or something like that. But not too bad, honestly, I never went down to battery bar. The display on here says I did 9.1 miles. On here on my phone GPS, it says I did 8.4 miles. So there's a little bit of a difference, but our top speed did say it was 38.5 miles an hour. That is awesome. This thing was cooking. This thing almost did 40 miles an hour. I'm pretty sure if you're going on a downhill street or a overpass, something like that, you're definitely gonna probably be doing over 40 miles an hour. If you want the most range out of this bike, just do not use both motors, but the fact that you have both motors just take off as much as you want, I love that. The only bad thing about this is that front tire is gonna go bald very quickly. These tires wear down very, very fast, especially if you ride on the street a lot because they just get worn down very easy. So the middle of the tire is definitely gonna go very fast. The headlight, we didn't get to check out today, but I will do a second video and we'll take it at night and kind of ride around. I might even do three videos on this thing because I'm actually digging this bike so far. We have a tail light in the back. I do have the bike on. 
It does work with the brake levers. It is getting brighter, so that's a good feature right there. Um, to turn the headlight on, there is a button right here, and it looks like the display dims down as well. So if you guys can see that, let me bring the bike over here. There you go, that's the headlight. So very curious about that on how it's gonna look. There is no turn signals on this bike, however, but I'm not mad that this bike doesn't have turn signals. You might be a little bit upset that this bike does not have a seven speed or any type of gears whatsoever. So you guys might be thinking to yourself, this is more of a motorcycle e-bike and let's be real it kind of is but it doesn't have motorcycle power at all but it definitely goes as fast as traffic to stay in the street which is a good safety thing as long as you know how to handle the power and you're not stupid on the road i like it overall though um the shock in the back depending on your weight if you're probably over 240 pounds or 250 pounds or more i would definitely highly suggest maybe thinking about upping the shock rate because that right there is very soft and it felt very good for me at 160 165 pounds but just keep that in mind you guys might want to replace that if you're a little heavier but i like the bike overall the seat does feel uncomfortable a little bit especially if i was going to ride it for maybe 20 miles straight it's very stiff there is no spot for rear pegs or anything like that and honestly the seat isn't very big to put two people on unless you put a little child up here um, but other than that i mean this is this is fantastic you also have a little handlebar thing to hold on to on the back just in case one of your friends needs to hold on they got a skateboard or something like that or maybe you're just kind of moving it around it makes it very easy to lift it up and move it around on storing it if you're going to lock it up somewhere or if I put it in my garage, but highly recommend this one and it's just not a bike to pedal That's it But if you want speed and power and you want it at a good price on the three thousand dollars with 40 amp hours of range I mean shh, can't go wrong guys So use the links down in the description and I will see you guys in the next one You guys are the true MVP. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I really appreciate it and subscribe We're gonna do another video on it later guys <laughs>